Hello everyone. So I was looking at a uh, few questions on my channel about uh, the aggregation of story points. And especially when it comes to those cases where you have uh, let us say a story and uh, you have subtask. Now in Jira by default when you talk about the story point field, the story point field is there on the story issue type because not only the field is uh, there on the story, I mean, irrespective of the screen that is being used in your Jira project, it is more about the context because uh, there is a context which is set for story point field that is uh, usually applicable not on, that is not applicable on, story, on subtask. But what you can do is you can always add a story point field to your subtask if you have to and uh, and you can of course store story points on subtask as well but the problem is that the way jira works is jira software works is it won't it won't really consider the story points at the subtask level for example your burn down charts or uh, if you're doing some estimations if you enter any story points at subtask level those story points will not roll up but i understand for uh, some planning Maybe it is desirable, maybe you want to uh, plan some work for the next few months and you want to know details. So maybe individual team members, they can use story points. So I, I don't really want to challenge you or not challenge you on uh, uh, basically whether you should use it at subtask level or not. I mean, it is totally up to you. Uh, but what I can help you, what I can suggest is that there is a way to roll up those estimates. So if you look at this particular story, we have uh, some story points here. For example, right now at this story point, at this story level, the estimates uh, is uh, three. So we can always modify it. But what if you have two subtasks? So subtask number one, subtask number two. And if you look at my subtask number one, my subtask number one uh, also has story points field, which I, I mean, the field was already there on the screen, but I removed the context or basically I modified the context so that uh, this particular field story point can be visible. So you can always uh, modify this particular context. So the story point field for subtask number one is filled with five. For subtask number two, it is uh, not filled at all. What we want to do, what the requirement is that we want this uh, story point field to roll up. And uh, uh, whenever you have, let us say, more than one subtask or maybe n number of subtasks, it would be just one or 10, then the story points will be rolled up on a specific event. Maybe you are working on different uh, story points or a bit different subtask and you modify one of the subtasks. So whenever that particular field is modified, then what the rule will do, it will perform, perform the calculation and it will sum up all the, all the story points at the subtask level and it will then update the story. So let us do that. And uh, it is, of course, not very complicated rule, very simple rule. But to, once you know how to do these things, uh, you will appreciate uh, these rules, these automation rules, because they can actually solve a lot of problems. And uh, I will go to, I'm sure I have covered this, but recently I covered something similar using number field. But this is a bit different because we are talking about uh, the, we are talking about the, um, the, the rolling up based on subtask and parent. So let me first take a look if I have uh, something similar. Maybe not. Let us let us write our own. So the rule is uh, some, well, I'll probably create a new rule. So I'll, I'll probably focus on just one project, which is SSPA. So I'll probably select here uh, SS. P A where we have this particular rule, some story points, or I should say roll up story points from subtask to parent, right? So I I like using these names. So let us look at the trigger. So the trigger is actually going to be when the story point field is changed. So let us uh, look at the field 
uh, value uh, changed for story point. I believe we can use this particular field. Any changes to to this field value for all operations? Uh, maybe for uh, yeah, for all operations that is fine. Now we want to probably add uh, a, maybe a condition so that uh, we only do it only for uh, subtask. So maybe we can do something like uh, issue type is equal to or it's one of I, I guess it is fine subtask this is perfect now the next thing that we want to do we want to now uh, work on uh, those uh, um, those subtasks now the the way this rule will work you have to basically specify the uh, I mean you can select here so we, 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 we basically want to update this story point at the parent level. So basically what we'll do, we'll find the parent, uh, like this is the um, branch rule. And uh, when we save this, we then have the option to do something within the parent. Now, when we go to the parent, we can actually select here uh, uh, just the field, which is story point. And we can actually edit this particular field. And uh, when we specify here, story points we have the option here to specify this number now this number will basically have uh, the summation of all the story points uh, from all the levels below it such the subtask uh, and we have to basically use uh, i mean of course you can also see here that it, you have the option to copy it from somewhere else but that is not what we want to do we want to basically set the value now if you remember and i have been talking about smart values in uh, all my videos I mentioned smart values in fact or in all of my Jira cloud automation videos I talk about uh, um, story po I talk about smart values so the, the main thing that we have to do is we have to basically find uh, a smart value that will actually fetch the story points for all the subtask and it will uh, perform summation that is it and there should be a way so let us uh, find something here. So let me just try to find. Uh, okay, Jira smart values, text field, math expressions. Let me check the math expressions because we want to sum, right? I mean, I, I know the smart value, but I'm just trying to show you how we can uh, find this. Okay. Let me just do a Google search, right? Smart value, some subtask, Jira cloud. I mean, use Google, it will be uh, convenient. And uh, I, I mean, I, I was hoping to find uh, the page basically here. So let me just try one more time, show more, find a smart value for a field find a smart value okay some 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 do we have something called a sum come on that is, that is why I use uh, my own uh, repository I mean this the information is the information is somewhere here but uh, it is a bit difficult to find so let us take a look at this one come on no it's not here okay let me just do it so the smart value is actually very simple it is not very complicated you have to simply use uh, issue dot uh, subtask dot uh, story points dot sum and that is it it is uh, very simple and if you sum if you save this turn it on the rule is now hopefully going to do the magic so let, let us test it and right now if you go back to the parent the parent story point is three and uh, what will happen is uh, it will basically add five and then the number that we add here let us add uh, maybe 15 maybe 14 you know 14 plus 5 19 so the story point at the parent level would be 19 now and if i wait for it and maybe i can just open the rule and look at the audit log it, it is showing you that it is uh, doing something and if I look at this now it will actually show you this information so it has it is it is now showing us that uh, 
um, this particular issue which is the parent has been updated if you go back to the parent and if you now look at uh, the page and if you refresh it you can see the number here 19 right very simple and uh, easy to use we, we can actually test it one more time maybe create one more subtask so this is my subtask number three and uh, we can open the subtask we can then uh, 19 plus maybe three or maybe five 19 plus five okay 24 and then if we go back to the parent it will take maybe few seconds it is not all, always like instant instant it won't really update the values instantly for you but uh, uh, it, is, it is not bad it is still not bad i mean uh, you can obviously wait for a uh, few minutes right so it is 24 and it works and very simple very simple rule and uh, you just need to know, know the smart value but i guess now you know and there is a documentation you just need to dig in i, I don't really want to spend like five minutes looking for the right smart value but uh, there is, you will find the link of the smart value documentation and that is it that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye